Marketing fails. Marketing fails. Marketing fails. I just can't get enough of marketing fails. Today we're reviewing some old school advertisements that are both cringe and hilarious at the same time. Let's get to it. Okay, first up on the chopping block is the AIDS diet candy commercial. Let's give it a roll. I've tried fad diets, powders, really? pills. Still my what? weight's been up and down like a yo-yo. No way. Until the AIDS plan taught me how to take oh, off weight tell me and more. help keep it off. AIDS may taste like a candy, this guy. but AIDS contains one of the most effective appetite suppressants. <laughs> is this dude like buy, supposed to be a doctor? And there's no stimulant in AIDS that could make you nervous. He looks official, With looks authoritative. This commercial launched during the height of the AIDS epidemic. I think it was around the late 70s, early 80s. So I can't believe someone on the marketing team wasn't like, you know, guys, it'd probably be uh, a good idea to maybe change the name. <laughs> I don't know. Ah, screw it. Let's use it anyway. All right, next up is the Dove Body Positive Lotion Bottles. Let's check this out. Double dare you to find them prettier ladies here. Whoa, what's this about? What? Whoa, this is pretty clever, actually. I mean, pretty cool. Yes, oh, I want that. All right, I just can't imagine someone that is obese or overweight really caring that much about it that they can get a bottle shape like them. I mean, it's just a little crazy. Just imagine you have that small shower ledge on your bathtub. That is going to take up literally the whole shower ledge in and of itself. It's just not really worth buying. Hey mom, when you go to the supermarket, can you uh, get me one of these Dove body washes? The one, the big fat one. I think that resonates really well with me. Oh, we already have that. Okay. All right, mom, thanks. All right, next up is the LifeLock commercial. So this commercial is seared into the back of my skull because this would play repetitively at 2 a.m. during late night TV reruns back in the late 90s. Let's give it a roll. Came Wait, what is this even called? Is it called LifeLock? My next door neighbor, Whoa. my family, and my doctor without picking up a telephone. I use this remote control to contact LifeLock. So look how he... My Life alert. Life Life call. Okay, right. Life call. I knew that. Medical response rate. Watch. You just press this button and speak into the air. And this one's great. Check this I'm out. I'm having chest pain. I'm calling paramedics and your family, Mr. Miller. I've fallen and I can't get up. Oh my god, this is probably like producer's grandmother and grandfather. They're like, hey, uh, we're a little low on budget. Let's see if we can get grandma and grandpa in here to play our fallen and I can't get up people. Man, that was like literally the worst acting I've ever seen. I just got to play that again. Chest pain. <laughs> I'm calling paramedics and your family, Mr. Miller. I've fallen and I can't get up. We're sending help immediately, <laughs> Mrs. Fletcher. See? Brilliant. Okay, next marketing fail is a California gas station manager accidentally priced gas at 69 cents a gallon when instead it should have been $6.90. As soon as people heard about this, it went viral and they cleaned out the entire gas station of gas, resulting in the manager getting fired. That is a pretty fat finger mistake, but man, was that costly. So actually, I just read a news article recently where the family created a GoFundMe to try to raise the money back, but the gas station refused to accept the money, and they were like, we are not hiring this idiot back. And I'm sure that this mistake will haunt this guy until the day he dies on his deathbed as one of his top mistakes of his entire life. Next up is the Burger King women belong in the kitchen tweet. If you've ever been on Twitter, it is the most woke place on the planet. And this type of stuff just does not fly. Like, check this out. 163,000 retweets, 171 quote retweets, and 666,000 likes. That is crazy. So here is a highlight reply from one of the people that retweeted this. So Becca here says proof this could have even fitted on one tweet. Please don't use sexism as clickbait. So it looks like the Burger King must have backtracked a little bit on their tweet here. And they say women belong in the kitchen. But if they want to, of course, yet only 20% of chefs are women. We're on a mission to change the gender ratio in the restaurant industry by empowering female employees with the opportunity to pursue a culinary career. So it looks like to me they were basically trying to use this kind of provocative headline here to get attention. Clearly it worked, but I don't think it was the kind of attention that they were looking for because it created a literal tweet shitstorm in a matter of a couple hours. And this is one of my favorite marketing fails. I like HK products. I have two USPs and when they released the product, what they did was they had a photographer take some photos of a nice little layout product display. What is the problem that you see with this ad? I'll give you a second. I didn't even notice it at first. Let's keep looking at it. What is the problem with this advertisement? All right, well, if you're a gun person, look how the magazines are loaded. <laughs> Literally the person, I guess, had no knowledge of how guns worked at all. 
and they loaded the round into the magazine completely backwards. So this actually took over as kind of like HK lore. And if you go on some of like the Reddit threads, for example, everyone, when they display their USPs or their various HK products, they have the magazines loaded backwards. Actually, I think it's kind of fortunate because it created a nice little piece of lore that really brought the community together. And anyone who's really big into the HK brand knows this little thing is a nice little running joke in the community. Next is that Google killed a Burger King ad. So let's play the ad and I'll show you the problem with it. Watching a 15 second Burger King ad. Which Looks is good. unfortunately not enough time to explain all the fresh ingredients in the Whopper sandwich. But I got an idea. Okay, Google, what is the Whopper burger? So in the ad, the Google would play it, and this is what it would say. According to Wikipedia, the Whopper is a burger consisting of a flame-grilled patty made with 100% medium-sized child with no preservatives <laughs> or fillers, topped with That's great. sliced tomatoes, onions, lettuce, cyanide, pickles, ketchup, and mayonnaise. So what would happen is, is that Google would pull this data from Wikipedia, and because anyone can change Wikipedia, people were going in and modifying the listings. And the next marketing fail is BlackBerry was caught tweeting from an iPhone. This is great, I just love this. This is how you know your product isn't very good when you're using your competitor's product in the background when no one knows. You know you're working at the wrong place. Finally, we have Craft Axes, the send nudes campaign after receiving backlash from loads of mobs around the world. So Craft, a lot of their products are geared towards children. So not the most appropriate campaign, although I find this mildly funny, just that the fact that people got in a huge uproar over something as meaningless as this. I love watching people get pissed off. All right, so that marks my first review style piece of content. What did you think about it? Comment below. Did you like the content? Do you want to see more of this? Obviously, this is my first attempt, so it's not the best, but if you get enough response here, I will create more types of content like this. Make sure you like this video and also check out my most recent video. I'll pop it up right here or here. My name is Dan Brock, the Deadbeat Super Affiliate, and it's time for me to go take a nap.